Welcome to a video on chicken coop designs. Uh, feel free to steal and copy these designs for yourself. And as I go through this slideshow of different designs that you can take and use for yourself, I'm just going to touch on four basic tips for designing, well, not only choosing, but also designing uh, your chicken coop. And the first one obviously is easy cleaning. As you can see from the design that's on the, screen, on the video right now, it's simple. It's very simple. And, and that's what you're looking for. If the blueprint for the design that you may be considering for your chickens is too difficult to clean, that can spell uh, disaster. So you're going to want to make sure that you look uh, at, at the floor and make sure that uh, there's a downward slope, make sure that there's proper run runoff and proper drainage. And, um, and also make sure that the main door that, you, that gives you access to the chicken coop opens inward. Okay. Uh, the second tip, so the first one is easy cleaning. Second tip is going to be centered around ventilation and having proper ventilation is, is absolutely essential and uh, that ties into making sure that the windows and the door um, and uh, just that those things are easy to open depending on how many windows, depending on how many doors, they're all easy to open, to slide open. Uh, ventilation is absolutely key. You can even see in this particular design on the video right now, there's a, just ventilation at the very top of this particular chicken coop as well. So you want to make sure that everything is flowing and working properly in terms of airflow and just keeping the whole place ventilated properly. The third thing to look for when designing your chicken coop is lighting. And it's a real plus because, and really there's two choices, you've got fluorescent or you've got electric. And the great thing about it is um, what it does is it will also keep the chickens warm. And so, especially during uh, cooler days or even a cooler season, whether it's fall, winter, early spring, just making sure that the chickens uh, are, it's just, a, it's another heat source. So it's a perk if it's done right. The fourth and final tip uh, is just making sure that you use proper quality construction material. And that goes for um, everything from, you know, of course, the wood that you use as well as even um, the wire mesh. That uh, that's used with the uh, used in the design, making sure that it's good quality wood because you're not going to want it to obviously fall apart. And I know a lot of these these four tips are very very simple. And there's many more to consider, but these are four essentials that really have to be there. And uh, I touched on the the wire mesh there a second ago, and, and one of the reasons is making sure that you have strong enough wire meshes for predators because if a predator is able to get into the chicken coop and 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 whatnot, obviously that's going to spell disaster because they're going to get at the chickens, and so. Uh, if you're, if you follow at least follow these four basic uh, designs and use them in considering designs for a chicken coop, you, you're going to be staying on the right and heading in the right direction. Uh, for more essential uh, tips, direction, guidance in terms of actual designs that are properly done, and step by step step instruction to actually do it yourself and build chicken coops. What you can do is uh, just underneath this video, there is an actual description box and uh, you're going to want to just take a look at that website there. It may be the ticket that you're looking for. And so if you do want more information about Chicken Coop Designs, just simply visit that website now. And, um, and uh, thanks for watching this video.